Okay, that should uh taken care of that, right? Turn it off, turn it on. And uh, Don, if you help us out here with your power words used uh, in headlines for advertising. Okay, here we go. Uh, okay. Everybody see that? Yes. Okay. Now, when we use power words, we should use them as the headline at the tip of our content marketing spear. And you want to use them selectively so you catch people's attention because you only have about seven seconds when somebody scans your headline to get their interest. Okay. You don't have to be obnoxious. All you have to do is focus on communicating directly and clearly with the person that's reading your ad. If you include more power words in your subheaders, you'll satisfy those who'd rather just scan than read the entire article and thus be engaged and otherwise lost. And that's the beauty of power words, just a bit of tweaking can help make your content significantly more compelling. Audiences are more likely to trust the word of another consumer with a testimonial or endorsement. Okay, I'll read that again. Audiences are more likely to trust the word of another consumer. If you have a testimonial on there that says this is a great product, or an endorsement that says this thing is just awesome, you ought to buy it, chances are people will check it out more and trust you and buy from you. You might have a bias, but the consumer you're interested in attaching to your ad are interested in value, just plain and simple. They want to know what's in it for them. If you've got plenty of online reviews stating how great your business is, potential customers are more likely to consider you. That word you is important. Never underestimate the power of an objective compliment. Your audience targeting promotion schedules and ad copies should improve over time. Here's where tracking your ads is important. If you find words that are constantly getting hits to your ad, you should use them. More specifically, when you consider the impact that power words can have on readers, it's important that you test out these new ideas for engaging ad copy. It's not pulling one place, stick some more words in there and try it again for another couple of days and go ahead. Such as this billboard advertising, Monday morning, feels freaking amazing. I don't know what they're advertising. I didn't blow it up to check. But if you're running down the highway and you see an advertising board that looks like that, you're probably going to look at it and be distracted, which is not a good thing when you're driving, but at least it gets attention to you. Here are some of the words that are power words that we should use in our headlines. A product can be affordable. Everybody wants to know that they can buy a product. If you're in agony from knee pain or arm pain or whatever, you should buy this because it will cure the problem. Are we totally assaulted by headlines every day and day in and day out? Yes, about 10,000. This is the most authentic problem, problem, <laughs> authentic thing I have ever used. Okay, authenticity goes a long way in pulling people in. If you're awestruck by a product, it means you, you have never seen anything like it and you should probably buy it so you can be awestruck as well. If you have something that's alluring or a next shiny object, that should also go in the headline. Absolute. It means that you only have one of a kind. 
if you are barraged by something, you're going to be hearing about 10,000 ads a day, whether you like it or not. And you should be astonished by those figures because the apocalypse is coming and maybe you'll be barraged by something else that you can use to climb out of the hole. If you're battling pain or battling something else, you need a bargain to buy it so you can use it and make sure that it is always awesome for you. If you are broken and in need of something, you need bonus product to finally get over it. If you have brutal pain coming from some catastrophic event, you can take a product and be forever healed. If you use caution in buying things and only buy things that are elite and proven to you, you can make sure that they are genuine. If you see a charming individual, make sure that they are not in an emergency so they don't get greedy on you. If you have a crazy person trying to sell you something, they're probably emerging from an immediately life-saving or life-endearing caution-induced event. If you find yourself in dangerous waters, don't flap around like you're frenzied because that will instantly attract sharks. If you're defying the odds and honestly want to have a good product, offer an ironclad guarantee. If you have something that is explosive, make sure that there is enough pieces left to make it legitimate and afford power buy to those people that want to buy it. Don't show hatred to anybody but offer them something new and reliable. If you offer a product that is insanity, <clears throat> has insanity attached to it, make sure that you're talking as an official and are reliable. If you have something that is sold by a lunatic, make sure he doesn't have a secret ingredient there that offers you a solution. If you are menacing, make sure you have a security guard out there to supercharge your information. If you find something poisonous, make sure that you don't become a spectacle and you have unlimited capability. If you sabotage something by treachery, you are going to pay a price. All those are power words that you can link together this is just a very small portion of all the power words out there. There is even a power word generator out there that offers a 30 day money back guarantee. If you want to subscribe to it, I don't know how much it was, but it's offered by SEMrush. Uh, if you just go out and search Google for power words, you can probably find 40 or 50 places where you can just copy and paste them and, and go forth and do your ads that way. And the reason that power words work is because they tend to play on our emotions, are related to our fears, encourage us, generate anger, lust, greed, safety, and anything that is taboo. In marketing, curiosity is what gets people to search for your business on Google or another search engine and also persuades them to click your links or consider your products. <clears throat> if you're not using that many power words, try substituting them in your headlines and always test them. Curiosity power words include such things as jaw dropping. We have a trade secret and we're offering you a sneak peek. And that's to elicit curiosity from readers to make them click on your link. Encouragement in power words are things that include such things as life-changing, mind-blowing, unbelievable, and eye-opening as part of your advertising campaign. Power words are used 
by smart marketers and copywriters to trigger a psychological or emotional response. The idea of having to wait for something makes it more exciting. It's where Amazon comes in with its two-day shipping. You don't have to wait that long. The agony of wait time mixed in with our innate need to belong or fear of missing out has to be part of something that has launched many products in total success. A customer's first impression is often the only impression you get. Make it a strong one. Now, here we have advertising billboards. This is a twofer or a threefer, depending on how you look at it, okay? The draw here is Coca-Cola. There is a thermometer here, and that translates to reasons for stopping and having a refreshment. Over here in this little corner is McDonald's Arch. So there you have a twofer. If you're seeing a Burger King ad, it might be Pepsi and a Whopper or the Burger King uh, colors, whichever way you want to do it. There are many ways to do this. This is just a way to get headlines with few words. If you use power words there, you get your meaning across. If you're a Lowe's person or a Home Depot person, I'm sure you have unfinished projects around your house. They left this unfinished. The logo's down here. You instantly connect one to the other. I've seen a lot of these lately. We have an air conditioning unit here in Boise, which is the capital of Idaho. And it's called Home Heating and Electric. And they use this a lot. Your wife is hot. Better get your AC fixed. And then the business is down here with a number to call. And most of the time, they have the little QR code down here. So we're driving down the road trying to finagle your phone to get the QR code. You're driving off the road. <laughs> this one, of course, is Chick-fil-A. Okay. <laughs> and their big draw is, is chicken. So they don't have a, don't have a cow have chicken, right? Um, I like their little cow ads. I really don't like Chick-fil-A, but I like their advertising style. And last of all, you have to have impact in your headlines. Here's a man getting punched. And it says, according to Webster, the single instantaneous striking of a body in motion against another body. According to Young and Rubicam, the people that put the advertising up there, the quality of an advertisement which strikes suddenly against the reader's indifference and enlivens them, enlivens his mind and to receive a sales message. And then they have their advertising link down below. So if you don't have impact, change up your power words and see with testing where you can go. And that's what I have today, and I will share this link in the chat, and I'm sure everybody has that has the link, if I can get it copied, because I think I copied it right and allowed everybody with a link to share. We can go forward with it. They'll also be able to edit that. Yes. So if that's the original, when they change it, it'll change yours too. FYI. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm sorry. Here I am talking and then realize I'm muted. Um, so in that case, <laughs> then I, I would actually recommend um, share it as a viewer only. And then, and then those of us will click on it, create a copy, and then be able to edit it ourselves. Okay. Yeah. Sounds like a good plan. <laughs> and and you don't need need to change the link. All you need to do is just go in and just just uh, change um the the uh, type of sharing. You you just choose um view. I think you just I think it's an option to choose viewer. Okay. 
And in addition to those power words for, because you were talking about headlines, another thing to put in the headlines, which is really great to use in addition to those power words are numbers like you could say, here are 20 power words from, let's see, if you, so you can start with 20 power words that will get you more eyes on your ad. Right. Or 15 or 10 or five things about today's call that you didn't want to miss. So think about when you're doing headlines, you can also use not only those power words, but numbers also, because that seems to pull a lot of people's curiosity and they want to see the specific and it gives them a purpose of looking at the ad. So you can and, put an ad don't in make front them of those even power numbers, words. make them odd looking numbers. Like five or seven. Right. Mm -hmm. Same thing when we're doing our pages, too, and you're doing the bullet points, like Rory says, do odd numbers like three, five, seven, nine, when you're doing bullet points on your blog pages. <clears throat> FYI. Yep. Sounds good to me. <laughs> me, too. Awesome. That was great. Dad, you're still sharing. Did you know that? Yep. Um, okay, so if I go down here, people with the link. Did you want to stop sharing? Uh, just do it better, v viewer. Will that work, or should I just leave it the way it is? You want to stop oh, yeah, just do them as a viewer. Okay. Change, edit, for, change it from editor to view. Okay. Yeah, we're just okay. looking at your Skype right now. <laughs> right. <laughs> and thank you, Don. That was awesome. You're welcome. <laughs> Anybody have any questions? Anybody have any answers? <laughs> Yeah, if you stop sharing, we can see more hands come up, all the hands and questions that everybody has. But that was that was uh, super. So, you know, the people, it was straightforward. But always having specifics is important instead of generalities. So when you're talking and advertising and doing calls like we're doing specific sell generalities don't so you want to create curiosity and you want to be able to give some facts so that the people can understand what you're talking about and will understand what facts are right to the point in other words you know yep there's the proper so, link go ahead in the chat yep yeah that's great thank you yep you're welcome um, yeah awesome so everybody oh. um when you click on that link do not click on request edit access just click on uh, uh, file and make a copy that way you'll be able to edit it yourself and your own you have your own copy to yourself thank you joel yeah, for sure. Oh, awesome, shoot. guys. No questions? Wow. We, we got a great group here. I mean, we, we always sure do. do. I mean, everybody, as a matter of fact, we should start getting everybody here to take a call, do a call. Yeah. Well, how does that sound, yeah. folks? Huh? You have any volunteers you want to do next week's call? Speaking about next week, I'm going to stop the recording now. Talk, see you guys next week.